Lucy's storyline. It seems kind of far from where the characters seem to be headed. I have heard that. And let me tell you, um, in New Moon and Eclipse, almost with the one exception, every plot line, every single moment of the story is heading towards what happened with Breaking Dawn. I knew exactly where I was going, and all the hints are actually in there. Um, I'd have to dig for them, but everything that happens, happens for this reason. Um, the one exception was actually the backstory of the Williams. Um, that was something that I wrote when there was this possibility that I was going to be forced into this three-book thing, um, which I really didn't see how I could do an ending I liked. I came up with an alternate ending that um, I had I think I had a kick out of it. It was a little different. Um, I don't think anyone else would have liked it. My mom hates it. Um, so, um, but the Philly backstory indirectly leads into that. So that's really the only part that wasn't focused on this ending. How early in the series did you decide that Jacob would imprint on this? That's another one that those kind of fit together. Um, and that was part of the story from the very beginning. With Twilight, I wrote it without knowing what I was going to do. Um, but as soon as I was finished and I kind of, you know, I wrote a couple epilogues, I'm like, okay, I want to live in this world for a little while longer. Um, that was immediately part of what was going to happen. So it was always, always the future. And Kelly asks, have you seen the movie? And if so, are you happy with it? Thank you for the question. Um, I have seen a rough cut. I am thrilled. The only problem was that I had to pack to come on tour and I could only watch it once and I was really, really upset about that. <laughs> um, if, if I had gone to the theater to see that, I would have turned around, gone outside, bought another ticket and gone back in. <laughs> <laughs>